To begin with, we start to incorporate bokeh.models library from which we uh, import column data source. This is going to come in helpful when we have to select a particular value from column. Then we have the widgets select. This in itself is the most um, applicable part in this particular function because we will be accessing a specific part of the list which will uh, try to access the data set subsequently. Then we have the bokeh application. This is a default selection which allows you to create the application as you can see over here like this in its entirety and then you have the function handler which is part of the application as we will see um, when we write the code begin by adding the most default case of selection adding the default case in our scenario it will be the base so we will have the selection of the base from our data set and this we are going to filter using the query for, uh, command and it's happening somehow something like this basically molecular species is the name of the column and whenever it is equal to base which in itself should be between these string uh, like as a string variable it will be filtered and stored in the dfk filled data frame and this is the one that we will be using in the further code next we provide a column data source so this is basically a data variable and you can imagine it to be some sort of a json object which will allow you to access the data field later on so currently we are just storing this data frame inside the dot data of pt p2 underscore data variable now we need to make the two plots as you can see over here so it's like just copy pasting the previous two plots that we had in the previous section of our code so over here i have just copied the p1 and p2 plots basically the figure x-axis y-axis and the scatter part not the show part the show will come later on when we append all of these activities into one particular application and the application is the one that we have accessed over here now we can make our function to update the plot whenever we select a new value so for this it's like a conventional way of writing the attribute name old and new we select the molecular species using select dot value this is a default keyword and then we filter then we filter our query using molecular species and then we provide the select command which is pretty straightforward from all these options and we make the grid plot this is a conventional way of writing the application handler and now we can run the application so the end result of our application looks something like this and i hope this is useful to you